improve this river that we are seeing in kind of our people just die for nothing. Community members in the area are frustrated with the municipality who they claim have failed to address the dangerous situation despite numerous calls and reports of lives lost since 2018. They only have this thin passage to cross over to the other side at high risk, particularly school-going children. The sewage water does not look that deep at a quick glance and is better tested by submerging a four-meter-long pole. People are going. Every time we see people just dying here. But we as the leader, we as the, the implementer, we are here and we are reporting the thing and not even doing anything. It's not good. The official came here. Really let them start doing this very urgently. Very, uh, it is not good to see people are marching because of things, well, things they've been told by the, by the leaders. Huh? Why are we waiting people to fight first before we do things? This river bed is causing us the lives of our people. Three died here while the other three were rescued. If someone falls in and there is no one to help them out, they end up dying. We have children that cross this area and it is impossible for them to jump and cross to the other side. Municipality should at least build a bridge. Stefanis' family are now challenged financially in preparing for the burial of their loved one. They maintain the situation could have been prevented had the council acted on time. They are thus pleading for a bridge or safe structure to prevent further loss of lives. I honestly do not feel good about this situation. I have accepted that my sister died, but I am not happy with the way that she died. A team from the city of Ventuk visited the area on Wednesday to assess the matter. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.